team. Today we're going to go to the first day of the Epcot International Food and Wine Festival. So we're going to try out a bunch of great foods, see what we do and don't like, let you know all of our recommendations. So come with us. Ooh, that is good. So it's very refreshing. It's got ginger notes in it. There's some pineapple too. Um, chili salt rim, which is really good. A little spicy. But if you love a nice refreshing margarita on the rocks, I would definitely suggest this one. It's not as boozy um, as some of the other options with the heavier hand of tequila. So I would definitely say this is a good way to start making your way around the world slowly pace yourself. <laughs> All right, we'll give this a shot. Ooh. All right. It's really, really good. I'm getting a lot of the um, of the pineapple juice coming through, and I get like a hint of the ginger. But this rim, this rim like takes it over the top. It's awesome. Uh, we're starting off with a bang. This is going to be one of the top ones. I could already tell. And I'm probably going to say that at every booth, but... So this is the Taco de Castilla. So it's slow braised ribs on a corn tortilla with salsa, avocado mousse, and spring onions. Mmm. Mm hmm The beef is really juicy. You can see, I mean... It's got a little bit of a juice going here. And the avocado is nice and fresh. They are smaller bites, so I do wish, you know, for the price point it was a little bit larger, but I think we could say that around the world today. So I could eat 10 of these. I think that's the real problem. Drink down. So this is crispy duck bao bun with hoisin sauce from the China booth. Let's try it. Mm-hmm. So the duck is really crispy, the bao bun is nice and soft. It's pretty warm still. I'd say it's a, a decent amount of food. I would say maybe if you're looking for more of like a meal or something a little bit larger, I would order more than one because these are on the smaller side, but goes with all of the sizes of the festival food and it's pretty decent. chicken tiki masala. Mm, this is super flavorful. Really, really tasty. I love the addition of the cream they have on the top here. And then the naan is really nice as well. Nice and soft. Definitely a hearty dish. It's a nice portion size for what they usually give you for these offerings. I feel like this could definitely be easily shared. A plus for the uh, India booth. Here we go. <laughs> hmm. Okay, this is kind of like almost like a mango ice cream drink. It tastes very creamy, very sweet. It's got the cute little pieces of mango in there, so it's very Instagrammable. It's pretty good. I would say it's like a three out of five. You no, know, not a must get, but it's sweet, it's refreshing. This is the Kenyan Coffee Barbecued Beef from the Kenya booth. 
Mm. The meat is so tender and juicy. I love the barbecue sauce. Gives it a really nice tang and kick. The sweet potato cornmeal pop has kind of the consistency of like a grainier mashed potato. It's really delicious. Pretty decent portion size. I would say this is on the heftier side, so if you're trying to snack around a lot, you might want to avoid this, but if you're really hungry, this would definitely hit the spot. Good job, Kenya Boots. This is the ham and cheese raclette from the Alps booth. pretty good. It tastes like a ham and cheese sandwich, to be honest. As you could tell, it started downpouring on us while we were in line. It's a ham and cheese sandwich, like she said. I mean, it's good, but nothing like crazy. I'm interested in the potatoes. Try one of those. The potatoes are pretty good. They're roasted well, and this one is purple. So it's kind of pretty. Mm-hmm. It's a spicy tuna roll with cucumber. Should be pretty good. And this is spicy sauce that comes with it as well. So the spicy mayo makes it. I love spicy mayo on any of my sushi. Pretty much on point with like standard restaurant sushi that I've had or even some like upper scale supermarket sushi even. Pretty good offering, it comes with three pieces. So bigger offering than if you get like the bao bun or something like that. And if you wanna share it, I would say this is a better offer. All right, so we're digging into the chocolate Belgian waffle from the Belgian booth. I've been craving chocolate all day, so I'm really pumped for this one. Oh, look at all that chocolate. All right. Mm -hmm. This is heavenly. This is exactly what I needed. So a lot of the food here is pretty savory, which is great, but Sometimes you just need chocolate. Mm. This gets my team rope drop approval. Yeah, I eat the chocolate. This is the Brazilian cheese bread from the Brazil booth. Oh, these things are absolutely stuffed with cheese. It's like the bread is just the thin outside crust and the entire thing in the middle is just gooey, gooey cheese. I really like it. I wish it wasn't 120 degrees outside. And I like it a little more, but I do like it. That cheese pole was everything. It really was. So this is the warm chocolate pudding cake from the Ireland booth. I love chocolate. I have such a sweet tooth, so I'm excited about this. And it has a Irish cream liqueur frosting on it, so I'm excited to see if it tastes like that or if it's you know more of like a creamy consistency. Mmm. This is so good. So it tastes like a warm brownie. It does taste a little boozy, but I feel like more on its own than with the rest of the chocolate pudding cake. Together, they are really good pair and it's not as boozy of a treat, but it tastes a little bit. Mm. So this is also from the Ireland booth. It's the Guinness Bailey's Coffee Shake. It's got some chocolate curls in there. Let me try it. Oh, okay. Well, it's definitely cold, so that's good. It's very Guinness forward. It tastes actually a lot more like a lager or beer than I thought it would. Um, I think Tegan will love this one, <laughs> but it is cold, so 
so that's a plus and it's really hot out more of like a malt beverage than a coffee slushy or something like that so like a two and a half for me but we'll see what taken thinks <laughs> It's Guinness, creamy Guinness, cold, and it, it really does just taste like a Guinness with like some milk and chocolate in it, but I really like that. So we're gonna try the infamous pickle milkshake from Brewing. This is the special Muppets edition. So this year they have Dr. Bunsen Honeydew and Beaker and a bunch of other cool little cute googly-eyed friends around. So let's see how it goes. Mm, smell it first. It smells like pickles. It smells like a dill. It's like a vanilla dill milkshake, I guess. I would never order it again, but it's not too offensive. I'm not gonna spit it out. I think uh, I don't know. I've never tasted something like that before, besides a pickle. It really is a pickle milkshake. It's very dill heavy. I haven't had any of these little pieces of dill seeds yet. I wouldn't suggest this to anybody, even if you do like pickles, but it was worth trying. Probably like a 0.5 out of 5. <laughs> At least it comes with this cute souvenir cup. To remember your horrible pickle experience, bye. I despise pickles, so I am not looking forward to this. Yeah, no, no. I feel like I grew a hair on my chest, lost 15 years of my life. I'm not, no. Not for me. All right, so these are the peanut butter jelly wings. They have real peanuts on there. I actually really like these. I don't taste much jelly at all, but I do taste a lot of the peanut flavor. It tastes kind of like peanut butter. It's sweet, similar to a barbecue sauce, but less tang. I think they're a good hearty portion for what you get compared to most of the food at the festival too. But these are great, maybe like a four out of five. This is the Frozen Fusion. It's raspberry and pomegranate herbal tea fused with orange ice cream molecules. It just tastes like frozen tea. I mean, it's good, but it's uh... So when I read that I had orange ice cream molecules in it, I thought it would be a lot more creamy than it is. It literally just tastes like an orange tea with ice, but it's refreshing. This also comes with a souvenir cup that you can take home. fry flight from the fry basket. I'm so excited to try this because I love everything with potatoes. I consider myself a potato connoisseur, if you will. So, let's start with the sweet potato. This has marshmallow on it as well. Well, I keep going in for a second. <laughs> really good. These ones are nice and sweet. It's a lot like a sweet potato casserole that you have around Thanksgiving with the marshmallow topping, things like that. I could use a little more topping on it. I feel like they kind of skimped when it comes to that. 
they have a good amount of salt on there, so that makes me happy, but I don't know. I'm craving more marshmallow. I love sweet stuff, so that one's pretty good. So this one is the barbecue bacon. This one tastes just like a barbecue potato chip, honestly. This one is pretty, pretty ordinary. I would say this is the most standard. I think this is like an Idaho potato or, you know, basically like your normal french fry. It's not that crispy, but it's not soggy either. So run of the mill fry, pretty decent. I would say the winner on the flight was the sweet potato fry, but I am partial to things that are on the sweeter side. If you like something with a little bit of a tang, you might like the barbecue one better, but I loved it. And you can't see, but underneath the table when I eat these, my knee kind of pops like I'm in love. <laughs> All right, so from the flavors from Fire Booth, this is the spiced chocolate tart with a barbecue chip wheel. Mmm, let's try it. Mm. Mm, this is so decadent and rich. I love this. I think this is my favorite thing I've had all day and it's cold and I've been waiting for something cold all day that I actually like as a dessert so it's got that chocolate kick it's got the salted caramel on there and then it also has the barbecue chip the bottom has a little bit of like a barbecue chip graham cracker crust pairs really well together too the salt plays off of the chocolate really nicely so let's try this barbecue chip wheel Mm -hmm. Pretty spicy barbecue chip, but it's good. Overall, I think this is the best dessert we've had at the festival. I'm happy they added something like this, and I'm happy that they added something a little edgy and different with the barbecue chip and the saltiness and the chocolate mix. I would definitely try this one. Good job, uh, flavors from fire. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you had a great time because we had a great time at the fest. Our favorites of the fest were the fry flight and the spiced chocolate tart. Make sure to like the video, subscribe for more content like this, and leave a comment below.